No, they don't. Maybe I, they do know. We're trendsetters. Our dude, billions of listeners are going to start calling it bomping. Bomping. Not that I don't dude. want that to be our <laughs> legacy, but you know, we got to take what we can get at this dude, point. You know, dude, it's just, pandemic. All of it, all of it. Mm. All right, we should probably get to the shoe. Let's talk about what's the shoe that we're talking about today. All right, size 10. Uh, We are calling it size 10. Size Uh, 10 podcast. Yeah. Looks like we're recording now. We are. (laughs) It's a great... The best, cleanest, crispest start we've ever yeah, had. Yeah, uh, yeah. definitely. I, no, I that love was smooth as fuck. You know, we're, it's a professional. Here. It's a professional podcast. When someone's like, "Are we recording?" <laughs> and they're like, "Yep, we are," and we're leaving it all in. Yeah, why not? This makes us seem like real people. It does. Mm-hmm. I was worried. I was worried you were going to tell me to change my clothes or my shirt. Be like, "Yo, Bjorn, you're showing too much skin today." No, much because Portland. I'm wearing. Because I'm wearing this, <laughs> so I can't really, I can't, can't really say things much. to you. Because <laughs> I'll just like, I'll just fire right back at your. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is at your your solo cup. Yeah, Dixie, Dixie cup. cup. <laughs> Dixie cup. Not solo. yours is like, more the cool. color of a solo cup, but yeah, this is. And but it has a the logo. person wearing this. I look like someone that would be drinking out of a solo cup, right? You now. do look like someone who always drinks out of a solo cup. Yeah, just you like look yeah. Like you. I don't want it in a pint glass. I will have it in a red solo cup. Yep. With the blazers on. Like it. whenever that song comes on, you look like you sing along really, really exuberantly. I look like I I um uh, I choose that as my song <laughs> that I yeah. sing at karaoke every yeah, time. Yeah, you look like you put that song on in the car. <laughs> like you're just driving along the highway, like I fill you up. Let's have a party. Like just and, driving and alone. like that. <laughs> Yeah, like that. I feel like you have to sing that song with the sound of being drunk, even if you're sober. Like, you right. can't just be like, Red Solo Cup. You have to say, Red Solo Cup. <laughs> you got to slur like it a that. little bit. Yeah, you got to, you got to, like, in your mind, be, you know, why on do we stage. have, yeah, why do we have to reference a song I know zero lyrics to? I do not know that song at all. I you just don't know look that like, song? I, no, it's dude, I'm Red aware Solo. of it. it. Yeah, exactly. That's how, that's how everyone <laughs> I is. I, all I, I know is Red know Solo it. Cup. I fill you up. Let's have a party. And that's you know what? Whole, all the lyrics of that song that cool. I know. Here's the it's worst like part. The... I am going to look it up after this, and then I am and going to know the song. now you are going to be listening to I that song. I am going to be that part. guy driving around in this fucking getup <laughs> singing that song. <laughs> so this has been an unprecedented success, this podcast, already. Yeah, already, we are. Yeah, this is hilarious. Yeah. At least episode... that image is hilarious. You it driving is. around in your Me... Mitsubishi just fucking... <laughs> singing fucking red windows solo cup down windows all the windows all down. all the windows down if there's Dude, a window, does the in, my window car, in the back hatch down. does that window in the back hatch go no down? but there is you a, got a sunroof <laughs> i don't have a sunroof but i do have a button where i can open it i don't know if i can do there that you go driving. right around with that thing wide open <laughs> wide red open. solo cup just, yeah just all the dog hair it's dude yeah it's how you clean the dog hair out of your whip. I do, I do feel like I love listening to... And I'm un- the kind of jackass that calls it a whip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, your Subaru whip. Yeah, with uh, that legacy, bro. I do, love, I do love driving around with all the windows down, music pretty loud, pretty darn... Like, loud enough that everyone yeah. can hear what I'm listening to, but not so loud that it's, like, drowning out their music. You know? It's, like, a reasonable loud. Um, just enough for them to judge me about whatever the fuck I'm listening to. And it's never what you would expect. Never. I'm always like, I am blowing people's minds with whatever the fuck is going on right now. And whatever, it just doesn't match. They're like, wait, is that coming out of that car? (laughs) Like whatever it is, it's never what you expect. Yeah. I don't know if it's what you, well, I think if you know me, the music that I'm blaring out of my windows is exactly what you expect. But if you don't, and you just see like an old Subaru with a fucking ducks unlimited sticker on one of the back windows. And then it's like blaring Tupac. You're probably like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> yeah. It's just the trap beat where the, the, hi- the hi-hat is the first thing that you hear. <laughs> Or it's just like before, no, no, dude. Like I got from fucking, way down the street. You're just like, no, Damn. I got 
I got two amps in the trunk. Oh, that's they can right. hear my shit knock, bro. Dude, that's right. Your shit bump. bumps. Fucking it bumps, bumps, dude. It, it bumps. bumps. <laughs> I don't think anyone says that. No, they don't. Maybe I, they do now. We're trendsetters. Our dude, billions of listeners are going to start calling it bomping. bomping Not that I don't dude. want that to be our <laughs> legacy, but you know, we got to take what we can get at this dude, point. You know, dude, it's a pandemic. All of it. All of it. Take it. All of it. Mm. All right. We should probably get to the shoe. Let's talk yeah. about what's the shoe that we're all talking right. about today. Oh, let me. It's uh, the Adidas Ultra Boost. These are my. These are mine. They're dirty because I wear them a lot. It's I think it's the Ultra Boost Four, but they kind of the the Ultra Boost One, Two, Three, and Four all kind of look exactly the same. I think the the Ultra Boost One it was a different color on this part of the plastic than on this part of the plastic. These are blue. There's the name for it. I don't care what the name is. Uh, it is the um, high um the high res blue as well. Oh, it is. okay. It's blue with little green specks. I think they look cool. I got them at the Adidas employees store. Actually, the same day I got those other blue shoes that we talked about, the the D-Rupts, the ones that we just shit on for a whole episode. These ones I really like. I wear yeah. these all the time. I've beat the hell out of them. You've seen me wearing these a million times. Yeah. That's why when you told and, me which ones they were, I was like, nailed it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've definitely seen these. I like them because they're like, they're not... They're not totally boring, but they're not that exciting either. Like, they're a good everyday sneaker right. that still kind of says, like, I'm into sneakers and I don't just buy some trash sneaker. But And they're, like, fun and blue and exciting. Like, they're not just, you know, gray and black and white or just gray and gray and also gray. Like, a lot of people's sneakers that don't give a fuck about sneakers. But, yeah, I like them because they're, they're a little exciting, but not a lot exciting. Yeah. And they're super fucking comfortable. They've got that sock. The, yeah, they're the, just the, kind of a, a knit. Is the yeah, knit just, stretchy? Like the knit. Yeah, they stretchy, do. Right? They're they're like the most comfortable sneaker. They're really fantastic. Like they're great to walk in, they're great to just hang around in. Wow. And you just slip them on. Like you could tie them, I suppose. But I, I just kind of oh, tie them don't... to keep I just tie them to keep the laces out of the way. Okay. Like the laces are all connected to that plastic cage. Yeah. which is connected to the bot like that's not is that is it that's connected to the sock or is it not is it like not really lift here off? I'll, I'll unlace them because yeah you see a lot of oh. people remove the cage on ultra boosts the k is that what they call it it's the called cage? the cage yeah they just cut it off yeah you can just cut it off it doesn't affect the way the shoe actually fits because it's, <laughs> so then it really it's, looks like a water moccasin <laughs> yeah i guess it's like, it's sewn in right along here and right along here but other than that you can see it kind of it okay. pretty much comes away and and i don't lay some tight it's basically just the tightness of the knit it, uh, it just fits yeah it just fits your foot the laces are more for show i definitely yeah, remember these are filthy i'm sorry about that people um <laughs> I've been wearing them a lot, and we got a pandemic. So Why, don't actually, apologize for that. <laughs> oh yeah, Purell right now. Hell yeah, Can't dude. Can't be too careful because you don't know where those shoes have been. <laughs> I do know where those shoes. Have well, been, you know, is, you're pretty aware of where they've been. Yeah, they've they've been and out of why. doors during the during this global health crisis, and therefore Purell for twenty seconds. See, hit it up with one more hit. I definitely. I'm starting to warm I'm up get to the knit. I'm drunk through my skin. I'm putting Hell so yeah, much dude. fucking Purell on. <laughs> Do a shot. Shot, 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 shot. Purell. Yeah. Just love that shot right in there. Right? All right. What were you going to say? Oh, I was, was going to say I'm slowly warming to these knit shoes. I, when they first came out. Ultra Boost. They're fucking they first, so nice. I'll be, re- I'll be honest. When they first mm-hmm. came out, I was like, I ain't buying no running shoe moccasin like water moccasin fucking <laughs> hybrid because they look like the things that you would wear kayaking to me you know i kind of i kind of felt the same way when they first came out and that that i wasn't like that big and like i'd see them i'd see people wearing them i mean like, what, what the fuck are those it just like i wasn't really into of- sneakers but immediately i was like i'm not wearing that shit see 
Water moccasins just remind me of like getting upset on like the Gallatin River with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he made me go kayaking and I fucking hated kayaking. It's a dumb a kid, activity. I just didn't like it. I don't know. I just wasn't into it and I was forced to do it quite often. Um, yeah, I'm not into it. I wasn't that, forced like, to do it. I just thought it was dumb. And chose Bonding to- thing. So like for me, I, I like reject anything that reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> like in that way. If it reminds yeah. me of like... Like something, something you liked. I liked in my childhood. Yeah. But because of that, I definitely have this just like, ugh, every time I see a knit shoe. Um, yeah, it that looks being like said, those water shoes that were like neoprene and you slip yes. them on. I had a pair of those. And these are always they were neoprene. awful. They're like neoprene and neon colors. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, these aren't neoprene though. They're like a knit. They've got like a, li- I, they don't have any actual neoprene. They have some like, neoprene looking type of material like right around the cuff yeah. i guess but they're not they just remind me of water is that moccasins called a cuff? seems like it should be called a cuff cuff not yeah what's the what's the what's the bit around the top of the ankle it seems know. like it'd be called a cuff yeah because it's know. where it would meet the cuff of your pants i don't this I don't is the remember. kind of thing that we should probably yeah. know before we no, start a sneaker i podcast. know right? the, but you the, know what the, the fact the that components. the fact that i now have addressed that means that i'm aware you're aware and that's all that matters and then the next it will like re- we're both gonna read up on it and then the next time we're just gonna be like shit. i'm just gonna be it, ignorant and saying it. terms 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 no i'm, I, I'm not i ain't reading up on nothing i'm gonna if if people listen to this and and they want to start using my terms for a few things that aren't correct I now like they'll that. be correct if enough people use them they're correct yeah, it's the Fuck job. you, few well, people okay. that know all the right words and they're going to get comfy So we've about got, it. let's see, so we've got, we know tongue, toe, and then, so the heel part must be the jaw, dude, because it holds the tongue together. Nope. All right. <laughs> Moving on. The teeth yeah. of the shoe. Close enough. Yeah. That's it's all like that's... oral references, right? It's got to be. Yeah. All of, all of them are, because uh, tongue. Che- the cheek of the shoe that would be Wait, the is side that a piece, piece of a shoe <laughs> no <laughs> it's not at all um well we've built a lot of trust um yeah just now from our fans they're gonna be like oh these people know everything about shoes they do we absolutely they do. listen to them all right so i pulled up i pulled up yep the, there they are the what a boost. fine here they are i found them right fine. away is size 10 um size 10 the last one that sold was 150 what'd you get them for well you got them at the employee store i got them at the adidas employee store i had a pass for some reason and so it's everything's half off there and so i got them for 90 bucks so then we would double that 180 yeah for these these bad boys but yeah i've worn the hell out of them and i i've had them for a year and a half now and worn them a lot and they still are very comfortable they still Oh, there's the continental there yeah they they say continental like continental tires i think does the outsole on them are they like made of old tires or something i don't think so i think they're i think they just make the rubber because they're good at making rubber so it's not so they just make the black part sticks. yeah because the other part this is the boost material, that's the boost right? yeah and boost yeah i think that's the significance of the ultra boost you were looking into that right and the yeah. Ultra Boost was the first sneaker. That's how they introduced the Boost material. Yeah. As a and the Boost sole design. And it's just it's just foam, but it's I think it's like beads of foam, like they're little balls of foam, like maybe a quarter inch in diameter, and then they're all like styrofoam. Yeah, it it looks well. You can see it right there. Like it's all these little beads of foam stuck together. Yeah. And then they they mold it into you know the shape of the sole. It's a I think it's like extra spun. It's it like bounces or something. I don't know what it is. It's comfortable and it kind of helps you if you're jumping. Like if you're running upstairs in it, you can kind of feel the spring of it a little bit. Although that's probably a placebo. Um, I can see I how know. these would be kind of cool too because they have that like boat. That kind of that lifts your toe up so you're not like tripping on shit. <laughs> sort was... of, but they're also pretty flexible. Like when okay. you're wearing them, you flex your toes. Like they're not they're not like rigid in any way. It's really okay. soft. That's what I like about the boost. I've got a bunch of different shoes with boost at this point. And I they're with the some of the most comfortable shoes 
because they're just so spongy and soft and comfortable to stand in. I'm curious, what is the most, what do you think the most hype Adidas Boost is? Um, the Ultra Boost 1, like the original Ultra Boost. Well, the Yeezys. Well, the Yeezys. The Yeezys, but beyond that, like the Ultra Boost 1.0, I think, had... Like, when they first came out, they had a lot of hype around them. You see, like, those triple black Ultra Boost 1.0? Those are 300 bucks. It, the shoe, the when one, it first came out... The wood one's had, 400. Yeah, see, when it first came out, it had a ton of hype around it, and they made them limited release, and everybody was stoked, because they were also riding... I think they debuted Boost in this and in the original Yeezy 350 and the Yeezy oh. 750. Like, when, it, when Kanye first came to Adidas... That was like right when Boost also came out, I think. Damn, $3,000 for the nine? Damn. What? Bummer for that guy. What do you mean? Well, he that has person. the wrong size of fucking shoe, and so now he gets to pay <laughs> three grand. Three thousand? I love it. It's 3000 for the nine, and then the, and then the price of the 10 is only... <laughs> they probably just made more of them. Yeah, yeah, I think that guy he could just I'm chop always surprised off one like I toes and go down to an eight point five and be good. I always feel like the half sizes would be like the ones that are like super rare, you know? Like I think I think the sizes usually from like size what like eight or nine through size like twelve, they make a fuckload of them. So those are usually the least valuable sizes, I think, in, in resale. Okay. Although the really big sizes are often not that valuable either. The like the women's in a men's shoe release, yeah. the women, the sizes that women would wear are always the most expensive because they don't make that many because most dudes have a bigger foot than that on average. Yeah. Like the size four through eight. In women's? In in when it's a general when it's like a men's shoe release. Yeah. Where they just make one sizing, like the Yeezys, most like all the Yeezys and most of the Jordans that are like a men's size. So like size four through size eight. Those are the most valuable ones if you're going to resell. Because? Because they don't make as many because not that many dudes have that uh, size of foot. But they want to buy the same shoes that they have like for their girl. And gotcha. Or, or women want the fucking shoes too because they're cool. But they yeah. didn't release them in a women's size range. So they have to sneak in and try to get these ones and compete with like, I don't know, little footed dudes. And like, it's... They're not that many, and there's still demand for them, so those ones end up being really expensive. I, I had a friend in college that had... I'm trying to remember if his... I know it was an even number. It was either a six or an eight, and we would make fun of him. But then whenever we went to um, Ross, he mm-hmm. could get the coolest fucking shoes <laughs> because they would always have them. Oh, there. yeah. Those... If you're going to get discounts, wild colorways, if it's, it would be if like it's shoes only that, in the eight. <laughs> if it's shoes that don't sell out, then yeah. those those are the best sizes to have. But if it's a pair that sells out and is super desirable, they just don't make that many sizes or that many pairs. Yeah. Like they make, like the production runs of shoes, they make way more like size 10 than Absolutely. they make size six just because there's more dudes that wear a fucking size 10. Yeah. So... If you buy, if you like, if you're buying just to resell, those small sizes are where the money's at because there's still demand for them, but they don't make as many. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just more rare. That makes a lot of sense because, like, I mean, like, it's, when, yeah, it's just like a basic I do that with business. My like, business. everybody still wants it, but there's less, so you can charge more. I mean, the thing so. that sucks with manufacturing though is sometimes they require minimums, size minimums. Size yeah, per and, I'm color sure they, per unit. and I'm sure they and I'm sure they do that with sneakers. Cause like a big, like a small run of pairs of shoes is still like twenty or thirty or forty thousand. Like that's a pretty. I think like twenty or thirty thousand is a really limited stock. Something like that. I don't know. There's, I've seen numbers like that. I think like twenty or thirty thousand is really, really limited. It okay. seems limited to me. If there's only twenty thousand pairs. Like that's super limited. Twenty thousand total. Yeah. I think Let's actually that. that's really limited. I think that might be like those Air Dior, the. Dior Jordan collab that's coming out sometime this year. Yeah. Have you seen those? They're 2000 bucks no. retail. What? Yeah, because Dior did the, like, the leather is premium, and they say Dior is embroidered into the swoosh. They're, they're a one. They make a high and a low, or they're going to. 
but they say Air Dior on the Wings logo. They're super fucking cool. Everybody and their brother wants them, <laughs> but they're also two grand retail. And they're going to be like 10 or 15 grand on the afternoon. They're pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're <clears throat> stupid. They're silly. They're well, awesome. I'll just, I'm just going to share this so people can see what I'm looking at. These are them. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yep, I like this them. part. Isn't this that part cool? Sick. They're really cool. Like, they're ridiculous. They're $2,000. <gasps> I hate when there's something that's like cool. Like, oh, these are cool. <laughs> Never, ever going to wear these because I just, A, white. So no for Bjorn. That's, I'll, I'll spill like fucking ketchup on them or some shit. Yeah, these are sick. But I really like these, these soles on these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they're super cool. The only thing I'm bummed about with this show is I am going to start buying so many goddamn shoes. But you know what? At least I have a reason, you know, just yeah. so that I can wear them one time on this podcast. <laughs> you know, that's a solid enough reason. You need to start getting some white shoes. I probably... You know, challenge yourself. I really feel like my shoe game is going to change. It's going to evolve as we do this. It is. Because it already is. I'm already like more open. I mean, like, because I because I grew up just doing skate shoes, I only was stoked on anything that was like in the vein of skate stuff. So yeah. because it's like, oh, they did dunks in a skate shoe. They did a skate dunk. I like dunks now, you know, <laughs> as opposed to like and so then <laughs> I always hated running shoes because I just like associated them with like when my parents made me do track or whatever you know yeah um because i was yeah really i was good at kinda, running but i yeah i didn't it. care about running i hated it and i didn't want to do it I, was, I i always i just so many people wear like good probably for running but not good looking running shoes as like their daily shoe like people that don't care about shoes just have like a pair of fucking brooks or whatever like from a running store that are probably great if for running. Yeah. But, but they look dumb. Like they don't look good. They're just made out of like various mesh and foam materials, all kind of yeah. cobbled together. And people will wear that as their only shoe because they don't care about shoes. And they're just like, these are shoes. They're comfortable. I, I went know? through a little phase of that where I, so discovered, I, kind of that. I discovered wide shoes. Um, and that so was, you were wearing nothing but new balance and like nike air monarchs just the I'm, shit that like God, the like grandpa's mow the lawn in yeah i'm trying to think of what these um i'm gonna look uh i'm gonna look them up uh i'm not cool um, enough to pull off nike air monarchs i don't think <laughs> air monarchs i don't even know what those are look them up there I know I know one person personally who I've seen wear a pair of them and he's this fairly old dude that I work with at my at my office. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Fuck he's like me. he's like in his 60s. He's like the person <laughs> oh, that should wear those. These are absolutely what I I associated. Oh yeah. <laughs> I associated. <laughs> no, I've never worn those. You've never worn Nike Air Monarchs? No. <laughs> They're expensive too. They're like two hundred and some dollars. Really? These are yeah. So... They're like the but premium I do, dad shoe. I, I do think knew they're like they were the, the only ones that were available. I in, guess they're not two hundred dollars now. I'm looking at the pricing and it's like now these pink ones right here are two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think those the, those other ones are sixty though. To the left of those. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they are. What they're going for on StockX. Let's see, just your classic black one. What the fuck is that? This is so bad. It's it isn't the best. Oh, that shoe hurts my foot right now. <laughs> like it hurts. My foot hurts just thinking about putting it in that. <laughs> just from how it would look, because apparently they're super comfortable. Old people wear them, dude. No, they're they're wide as fuck. They're for old. They people are with wide feet. Okay, they are, but they're stiff. They're like, they suck. They do not, they're not comfortable for my like, oh, have you worn them? 
I've tried them just... on. I tried oh, on this. Okay. I was just like, I'm never. I tried it on as a joke, but like they didn't have whatever the fuck. Okay, they had. I didn't know that. I I mean, like I said, I don't think I'm cool enough to pull those off. I, and, I uh, did try to maybe. I think uh, I think like Trinidad James wears those a little bit, but he's like a fucking cool guy. He's a rapper, and I think I think if you're a rapper, you can sort of wear whatever shoes you want, and now yeah. they're cool. That's just uh, the privilege that rappers have. I just I just bought a random pair of of Nikes at running shoes that are in a wide at a at like I don't know what some discount store in in Hollywood actually cuz my sister mm. used to live in Hollywood, California. Um like like at this like discount shoe store and I wear them. I use them for the gym now. They're super worn out, but like I really liked them, like a lot. And then I was just like, "All right, maybe I should start giving running shoes." And that was when I just let go of the idea of like, "Okay." Um, and that's why I like tried on the monarchs, mm-hmm. the Air Monarchs, or whatever. Yeah, actually, I take that back. I don't know if it's I'm. I don't think it's Trinidad James. I think it's Danny Brown. Okay. And I, I don't know the first. If you're, I, I don't if you're know. If you're familiar Danny with Brown. Danny Brown, then it sort of makes sense that he would. I'm pretty sure it's actually Danny Brown who's into Nike Air Monarchs. He's like okay. kind of a wacky dude. I love Danny Brown. He's fucking awesome. I mean, usually I, I kind of like wacky, weird um, stuff. But like I started, see, then that was when I, I opened my eyes to other shoes. And like mm-hmm. I started to just like adventure, adventure. Yep. I started to adventure into other is that why people say the venture or are those two different words? Are people just shortening adventure or are they just saying like venture? No, adventure know. capitalism is not a thing. No, although I want to make like adventure capitalism. Adventure capitalism. It's like where you go on a hike and then you find a place to start like a lemonade stand. You find some people to take advantage of financially in no other way. <laughs> dirty mind you just try to sell shit to people on a walk yeah you just like take a hike with a backpack full of gatorade and sell it to people for ten dollars a piece this is adventure capitalism you just like and it's fine up you post up with a cooler somewhere on the fucking press trail and wait till somebody's dragging their ass through the woods just like ah fucking i'm hiking too far why did i make this or you know, just, New Year's resolution. This is so dumb. Why would I hike <laughs> a thousand miles? There are cars now. And like, you just are like, hey, man, you need a Gatorade? Oh, I'd do anything for a Gatorade. That's what I thought, bro. 20 or, bucks? You got 20 bucks? Or would, uh, <laughs> or would adventure, capitalist adventure capitalism be, be somebody who just randomly hands money to people? <laughs> no. Nope. That's I don't a venture think so. capitalist. Why would they because hand- a venture capitalist is somebody who invests in your business, right? Yeah. Okay. So an yeah, you're adventure right. capitalist would be someone who is investing in adventure. In adventure. <laughs> I invest <laughs> only in theme parks. I'm an adventure capitalist. Yeah, but there's no adventure at a theme park, is there? There's like the illusion of, the of adventure, adventure, maybe. Yeah, it's- but. It's sort of, do you like theme parks? Do you fuck with theme no. parks? No, you know me. I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I, I just like had a I'm a grumpy phase. old man at heart. <laughs> uh, d- yeah, I've never been to Disneyland or Disney World, and I never had an interest in going. I heard about it. Even when I was like a little kid, I just didn't care about really? Disney. I went to SeaWorld once in Florida. I liked that, but it was because it was a big aquarium. I was looking at fish. Yeah, and, you, and it you was, were fishing. There were just like... You're a fisher, man. <laughs> yeah, but I was man. also like five years old. <laughs> I was a little kid. I didn't care about fishing yet. I just saw sharks, and I'd been reading books about sharks. Let me revise that. I'd been paging through and looking at pictures of sharks. And uh, so I saw a shitload of sharks at SeaWorld, and I was like, oh, fuck it, there's a, there's a sand tiger shark, and there's a fucking not a great white because it's an aquarium, but there's a blue shark, and there's a mako shark. shark. There's the one with the big, long saw-looking thing sticking out of its nose. I don't remember what that one's called. I'm going to sound like some rich kid, but I went to Disney World a couple of times because I had relatives in Florida. Must be nice. We would go, and all I remember is it was not worth the hype. It was like I was so excited because it was I feel like like I just knew that somehow. It seemed like something that would suck. And I was like, this isn't as good as skiing. Why did we go to Florida? 
in the winter time. Also I do remember Florida, that. It's like it's like hot there. And where my parents and would make me go to Orlando, Florida, where that yeah. is, right? Isn't it like that's inland, so it's like mosquitoes and fucking yeah, it's humidity. Terrible. Well, my my grandparents lived like kind of by Palm Beach, mm. so like we had to drive a ways to get to Disney World, and I just yeah, I just remember it was like hot and whatever, and I I do remember as a kid like not wanting to go to Florida to visit our grandparents. Because I wanted to go skiing. <laughs> it's like, this is prime skiing time. What are we doing? Yeah, why are you fucking up the winter? Why are we going to a warm <laughs> place? We are at the best place. <laughs> yeah. And then my parents kind of got a clue and we started like doing vacations in, in other skiing places. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds like way more fun. But no, and then like... like Discovery like, Basin. I do remember we went there one year. What, near Anaconda? <laughs> yeah, near Anaconda. Discovery we're talking about... ski area? <laughs> Dude, Dude we're talking I like about Discovery. Obscure... The backside of Discovery, the, that, that double so, black. That was it's my legit first as double fuck black. back there. Dude, that's legit terrain. It's like, that's crazy. As, that's as crazy as the ridge at Bridger in places. Dude, that, that, that like, ski area is crazy. And it's inbounds. Like, you don't need a beacon or anything to go there. Like, that's really crazy cool terrain. That is shouts out to Discovery Ski Area yeah, in uh, I think technically Phillipsburg, Montana, like halfway I, between Anaconda and Phillipsburg. That you know exactly where that is. Oh, I've been there, and uh, my dad and I used to ice fish at Georgetown right, Lake, and we'd like... look up from Georgetown Lake when we were ice fishing, and we'd see Discovery up on the hill. Dude, how close is Ennis to uh, Dylan? It's an is hour. It even... Anaconda is it... like an hour. I lived in Anaconda for a summer. I was an intern oh, at right. a fabrication shop there. So I, I know, you know what's around there a little bit. Oh, okay, is that where you got Warm the Wu-Tang Springs thing? Creek. Yes, that, that's where that I got where the Wu-Tang thing. <laughs> yep, they was made an anaconda. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, Apparently like, that fabrication place ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> it ain't nothing to fuck with. There is in their file system somewhere in their big hard drive, um, there is a Wu-Tang W and a Young Money logo. Because Sick. the guy in the paint shop that painted it for me was a big fan of Lil Wayne, and he wanted the Young Money logo, so I oh, blew it for him. Sick. And got it cut out. Young Money Millionaire, Cash Millionaire, whatever. Yep, Young Money, Cash Money. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess long story long, I do fuck with running shoes and running style shoes, and I mm-hmm. ended up, I know that I got, we'll talk about it on another podcast episode, mm-hmm. but like I have a pair of, a couple pairs of New Balances, mm-hmm. and I remember growing up new balance was like a punchline of like you were whack if yeah you were dorky new dad too. for new so long cool again though and then i don't know what happened it was like 2016 or 15 or something it started to be mm-hmm. like wait and then i was and then i i got these i'm actually really stoked on them they hurt my feet but so i don't wear them very often anymore but i do have them um, and they started wearing out like in a weird way, but they are really cool. I think they're cool. Mm-hmm. I got made fun of uh, one day. I got because um, I used to host a show in Vegas, and I was hosting in a pair of those. And the and one of the dudes on the show like was clowning on me, like like making fun of my my shoe game. And mm-hmm. I was like, I was just like, fuck you, dude. These are actually cool. He's like. You're you're saying New Balances are cool, and I was like, "Come take a closer look." And we got into this like huge like battle mm-hmm. about it, and then I convinced him because he was like, "Oh, actually, the those New Balances <laughs> are really cool." Yeah, they are cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, wasting think, a story about any... a shoe that we're talking about in another <laughs> episode. No, it's okay. It's a it's like a sneak peek. It's like yeah. a movie trailer where I like stay tuned for one of our future episodes. I was like, we don't know which new one. balances are cool. And that was, I didn't, I would never even look at new balances. And then, um, after I got those Nike running shoes that were like, where I was like, what my feet don't hurt when I wear the same pair of shoes all day. I don't have to switch them out halfway through. And so, yeah, I started. No, that's, that's why I like shoes. the ultra boost. I have another pair I have the I have these and I have the Ultra Boost 19 and we'll do that on another episode. Yeah, as well. and if you go kayaking, like, you're all set, dude. <laughs> you can just walk uh, right into yeah. bodies I think of I have, water. <laughs> well, and I've used both of these shoes for like hiking and walking around and stuff. Like, do you I've even wear so- Do you wear socks with them? Or do I you do. Not have yeah. To? Is that I like sort of the appeal he- of it? 
Uh, I've always wondered about that. I don't know. I always wear socks. I've tried wearing shoes without socks like once, and then my feet just smelled like death. And I was like, no, I'm not doing this. This is this. And is you crime. and you, you're you're a crew sock dude, right? Yeah, for the most part, I am wearing like ankle height socks today. There's my feet. If you guys want to pause that and put it on a porn site, here, let me get it. That'll cost you. Nice long <laughs> look. Shouts out. Go on my OnlyFans. Anyway. <laughs> my, my only. I don't have a sorry, fucking OnlyFans only yet. <laughs> I, I want to put foot pictures Where you on can the see my, my feet. Dude, show my feet and fucking ankle socks. This is a tease. This is like <laughs> this a bikini tease. picture. You want to see everything? Go to my OnlyFans. <laughs> You can see these toes. Uh, all of them. Oh, God. I think I clipped the nails in the last month. I don't <laughs> remember what day. Oh, boy. I don't... Yeah. You know what? Quality I don't understand. I'm, I'm into shoes, but I... And so I feel like I probably look like I'm... <laughs> I'm into feet because I'm always <laughs> looking at people's feet. I'm always just like judging them based on their footwear. I, I I'm always walk. looking at people's feet when they're walking around. I think people think I'm looking at their ass or something sometimes, but usually I don't get caught. And and even if I do get caught, some I'm I'm usually just like those are dope shoes. I like those. It's easy I, to get out of. Like you're not yeah, gonna get called a like, creep if you're just oh. like yeah, those are fucking dope. I like those sneakers. People are just like oh. Thanks. I saw someone wearing these today and i was super jelly uh because i want a pair of them i'm a sh- dude i'm screen sharing a lot today because that we're talking no, that's about okay stuff and that's, i think yeah i think no it for interesting content did i get the right page no you were yeah. reading about stand-up comedy gives you exactly what you y- yeah no that was my own writing you guys uh that was something i wrote <laughs> That was my journal. Oh, those are cool. These. I saw these today. Someone was wearing them on a walk, and I was like, ooh, I want them. They don't even have – those seem like they might be rare. Like, they don't even have a thing. I don't know about those. I'm pretty sure they were – I don't know if they were these. 2005? Pretty sure they were these. They were – I was like, oh, those are Retro Fours. They're in an olive green with like the black. I really liked these a lot. You got to get a pair of fours. You really like fours. Yeah. What do you think of those gray ones ones with the neon? These ones? No, they're not. Oh, the gray ones with the neon. I almost bought those. Neon green. When I was buying Jody his um his yeah, they kind of they look like the uh, like the original Air Max ninety five. Yeah, I almost there they are retro ninety five. I almost don't want to see what they're worth. Okay, cool. They're not. No, they're not. That they don't have any hype around them. I just. Here's why There's, I didn't get They're them. dropping later this year, I think. They're dropping a Jordan 10 in that same color scheme, and it looks fucking awesome. I think okay. I, wanna, I think I want that sneaker. Which one is the Jordan 10? I really like the 10. There's not really any that people care that much about. Oh, it's, I think it's, it's almost a, like... It's almost I think more it's of the, like a... Yeah, it's a, I think it's a cool silhouette. It they kinda, just don't yeah. make any colorways in it that I absolutely need. I mean, you do need this colorway, for sure. They just look um, like a hiking boot to me for some reason, so I'm not that They kind of have a hiking boot look. They kind of look like the Kobe's. Has a pair. My sister has a pair that are really cool. I bought them for Now, when your sister has a pair, uh, does it does it um, like does it make you want them less or more? I bought them for her. I picked them out. Oh, were, I went to okay. the Nike employee store. I had a pass, and they were there, and I was like, oh, these are fucking cool. I'll get her these. And... They had one pair left in her size. Yeah. They're the, I forget what they are. They're like the Maya somebody's, someone in the, in the, um, the women's NBA or whatever. Is that what WNBA. it's called? WNBA. Yeah. WNBA. Yeah. I was right. I was right. I got to know because I got to know all these basketball answers because of this fucking jersey that I'm wearing. Yeah, today. you're wearing a jersey. So uh, I thought I was. been watching the home Michael Jordan show. Safe. <laughs> I haven't been. I don't have ESPN. I love wearing guy. sports apparel, but that is about it. That's about as far as. Like, I know about sports apparel. I'm into mm-hmm. that. Like, like, I like the shoes, but I'm not really into the actual sports and, like. Yeah. I hate there were how some cool ones. I'll wear I like, shit like this, and then people will ask me questions, and I'm just like, 
oh, you're wearing the wrong shirt today, Gorman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, like you can't talk. I don't know a single player on the team, and that I should probably know. On uh, the Blazers? On the Blazers. I can't name Damian I'm not, Lillard. I'm, you know what? Four of them were customers at a place I used to work, and I actually have met at several the of them place? in person. Yeah. Wait, they because had fans? It was, of course they have fancy dude, dogs, and they live dude, where I live. Mac Jordan. I don't um, know him. I only know Damian Lillard. No, there was a I'm, dog I'm a named Mac Jordan who was George, Michael Jordan's son's dog that would come in. And we had to do, I remember I got in trouble because I worked front desk and I got in mm. trouble because I put him on hold one time. <laughs> like, oh, you treated him like, like a real person. I and treated him like a real like, no. person. I didn't have time. And cause what kind uh, of dog was he? It was this like big, um, uh, uh, not a, I think a Siberian Husky, I think is what it's oh. called. I don't know um, about those. Like a, the big fluffy white dogs. Yeah, like, a, oh, like just a big smelly. fluffy, like a, 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 like a Pyrenees? Like those Maybe. things that guard the sheep or like a Samoyed? Isn't there a dog called a Samoyed? Samoyed? It's like a big fluffy white dog. It was it's not like a, a great Pyrenees. Pyren- it was not a great Pyrenees. Um, yeah, oh, those, wait, what was those the one are you what said? People, Samoyed? S A M. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's just a big white marshmallow looking fucking dog. Yes, that is. Share the screen. We got to see this dog. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I'm real. I I gotta. Get, I'm gonna get so much faster at this. There we go. I want there to be a comment somewhere with the timestamp of right now, and it's just like fucking forty-two minutes for a pupper, like because <laughs> this is the internet, so we know who to ban. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Anybody Whatever. who says no, pupper. That is a this goddamn is what, adorable fucking dog, though. That little is. cute little puppy. Look at they, that. They're just puppy. real smell. I'm pretty sure it was. The, it had this. It mint. looks like that bastard know, looks some like he'd be smelly. Of some kind. They just. It might have just been on a white husky at the same time. You know, it was mm. like an all white. You know what? I think it, I think he was an all white husky or a, a mix or some. Of, it was like. But he smelled bad. Yeah, he was real smelly. That's. A uh, weird. Like, that's why thing. I don't like dogs. They all smell. Like even they the all ones do. That don't smell. I agree. But smell. my dog smells very, uh, not good, but like like it's very uh, tolerable, and I like it. Yeah, your dog isn't it. obnoxiously smelly. It's, I'll give you that. It's like a. It's Has like he a been on subtle. The podcast yet? No, he, he was here. He's he's not, but he will. Yeah. Not At today. some point, Bucket will have to make it. He's appearance. usually he's usually just sitting right out the door. That's how we get door. fans. We just whore yeah, Bucket out. Show for my fans. dog. People think he's he is pretty cute. He's a yeah. cute little dog. So, anyways, I had a lot. There was like a lot of um, like Portland celebrities that used to board their dogs <laughs> because it, I worked at a dog boarding place, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was super In a fancy bougie, neighborhood. Like super right near fancy. The Pearl. Uh, right near uh, where I, I have like one friend that lives there. Just this mm-hmm. one rich douchebag friend. That's the only person I know that lives there. Yeah, this asshole. <laughs> probably got some sneakers on his wall. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably on one of those, one of those IKEA things, just on the wall, like probably yeah. white, <laughs> like as we described, Nick's. <laughs> like he probably has a box of all his shoe boxes like stacked up just like right next to his couch you know <laughs> yeah with expensive whiskey in front of him <laughs> yeah what a materialistic fucking piece of shit that guy might yeah. be that neighborhood is where yeah. i used to work and it was it was uh it was funny it's a lovely we had a, neighborhood we had a lot of the portland trailblazers i was walking um, around today i walked up the hill i ran up some stairs up the hill I was walking by the rich people's it's a houses. Cool, dude, it's a cool. Oh, it's fan- those uh, rich. I do like the, that the, neighborhood. The, the 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 rich people on the hill. Those there's some fantastic houses up there. Made me want to achieve in my life. <laughs> yeah. So that I can one day look down my nose at the poor. I I don't know. I don't want to be rich, <laughs> dude. I, I, I don't want to like be. Saying I don't want to be like, like stupid rich. Like I. I would uh, love to this, be stupid rich. Why not? This is Seems gonna like sound. A lot of fun. This is going to sound like weird. Some but hippy dippy bullshit. Nope. Nope. It's not. I have a like, like a relative. They're like a, like three remote. It's like my dad's, it's my dad's cousin. And they're like crazy rich. Oh, well, they're divorced and whatever now, but 
like they were just stupid rich. And Mm -hmm. I went and I spent a weekend with them because I was traveling. I was just like heading through town and I stopped and I went to their house. And then I was like, Oh, that I had no idea. Like I hadn't seen these people in a very long time. And Mm -hmm. I had no idea the like level, like they're like crazy high level rich and like 1% rich yeah and i spent some time with them and i realized how maintaining that lifestyle is just to me isn't something that i want you know what do you mean maintaining like 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 they were having to keep up to compete with other rich people is that no is it like a it's just kind of flexing type of thing it's sort of like you are working so much you don't have a life like and so i was talking to them about their life because mm-hmm. I was, I had just gotten out of college and I was sort of figuring out like what I wanted to do. Yeah. And like at first you're just like, yeah, I want to have the biggest house and all this stuff. And then mm-hmm. like I saw them who I, I got to hang out with people who had that. And I saw that it didn't feel like they were happy. This sounds like I'm no, no, that don't make just sense. didn't feel like they're happy. And and like they had kids and their kids were raised by not them because they were working all the time. Yeah. No, and that, like, that kind like of, they were, it was like getting that the point of by that kids? kind of through that kind of thing where you have to constantly be working like a crazy amount. Definitely doesn't sound it just, fun. Yeah. And like their kids were all like in co- like some of their kids were in college at that point And, mm-hmm. and it was just like, but they were raised by like nannies and tutors. And like, it was just like, And they were always busy. They're just, their whole life was just busy all the time. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't want that. It's not a life. I don't care enough about it. You know, I just Mm want to do what I want to do. And like, if I make a bunch of money doing that, great. If I don't, great. You know, like, like I just want to do like cool stuff. It's like, yeah, it's nice to have some money. I don't want to be like crazy poor. I still want to be able to buy some like, some Nikes from time. (laughs) But like, I just realized that like, it was a very interesting like moment for me where I, I didn't want that anymore. And even, that makes sense. And and I've heard those kind of stories and I kind of feel the same way, but I also like, I wouldn't mind having a bunch of money. If I could, if I could, if I, it's not like the, like, I'm not going to turn it down. I'm not going to like, try to be a CEO or oh. some shit that I'm not interested in doing. But that's the, the money. Thing. Do it. It's like, it's like, do what you love. Like if I can, if I can get there through things that I like doing, then, yes. then, then that would yes. be ideal. Like, but and like, I would, I would like sacrificing, that, but sacrificing not to, who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. So yeah. that you can, you can achieve. And that's what I saw. And it felt like they had done that on some level. And I saw, I, I, I sort of, of saw did. that. And like, I I also, um, my partner and I, we spent some time in California house sitting a mansion. Mm -hmm. And so we got to live in a mansion for a month, which was, yes, on the surface, super Mm -hmm. cool at first. But it it was so interesting how when we lived there, I missed our little apartment because I lost a lot of things. I didn't. I couldn't remember where things were. And like, we found ourselves just spending all of our time in like two or three rooms of this giant house. Yeah. Where it was like- Yeah, I do wonder about those massive, massive houses. Like, what do you do with all that? It's so Like some of it, some of it definitely seems like a flex. Like if you have a certain (laughs) amount of money, you have to do what everyone else in your amount of money bracket does. Otherwise- Kinda. I don't know if they look at you weird or something. Well, it's, it it's, seems like a lot of people get caught up in that. I think for the most part, you don't have to. Like Warren Buffett, doesn't he live in like a normal house? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, yeah, I don't he's remember. one of those guys that you always see a meme and it's like Warren Buffett eats yeah. fucking noodles for lunch. And you're like, oh, me too. And and it's stupid. Well, but. I think he's an example of exponential growth. So like he penny, he he pays attention to pennies. So mm-hmm. like he buys yeah, he's like, McDonald's fucking breakfast. Yeah, he's just day. like a frugal guy. And, he's very frugal and, and he just also cut. a very keen business person. Yeah. So he's made a shitload of money and and saved most of it. But it is but it is absolutely an exponential growth. So like you the more you work at that stuff, the better you get at it. Yeah. And and the little the ways that it's those pennies that do add up and and mm-hmm. and take over your life. So like 
it is it's like yeah he's he's an exaggerated example of it but Mm -hmm. because the reason that he's so rich is because he pays attention to those little details yeah no Uh, and i I guess yeah maybe maybe you misunderstood and i uh, maybe didn't say enough of what i was trying to say i was actually trying to just make a joke about wanting to look down my nose (laughs) because i think it's a funny thing to say but it's it's an interesting and it's not something that i it's not something that i that i like actively pursue i'm not just like how can i dismiss other people based on financial value like or, or financial portfolio i'm not saying people have a monetary value i feel like i'm digging myself a hole now anyway <laughs> all i was saying That's is i walked around direction. a rich i walked around, walked a, around rich a rich neighborhood, neighborhood today and there were some dope houses and i was like man i'd like to live in one of these if i could do so if i could do so and maintain <laughs> the, my current lifestyle and just like whatever i was doing right. somehow made me money no it's it, it's I, I guess I was what I was thing. what I was trying to comment on is like I thought that I wanted some of those things and then yeah. I I got these little glimpses of it mm-hmm. and it was an interesting experience a transformative experience for me in 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 that different value like we yeah. also like I um, rented a house my partner and I rented a house in Vegas for it was less than a th- it was nine hundred dollars a month mm-hmm. for a three bedroom, three bath house with a garage. It was like, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's like 3000 square feet or something. Just a monster fucking house. It was like, it wasn't that big. I mean, it was a very reasonable house, but it was too That's much house That's a nice for us. size house though for just a yeah, couple people. It is. But we just, it was very interesting how much we didn't really like it because I just felt like we were cleaning all the time. Yeah, you know what? That's because it was I like- I have noticed because I have, well, because I work, you know, in a office, like a professional yeah. setting. And I also have, I have non-comedy friends. So some of my friends have money and uh, those, <laughs> a lot of those friends, they're, they're older than me, but not by a lot, like maybe in their thirties and they're talking about buying houses and they're like, Oh yeah, we're thinking, you know, we, we want to get a starter house, but we want something we can grow into. So they're buying these houses in the suburbs. These are people in their late twenties to somewhere in their thirties buying yeah. houses out in the suburbs that are like three or four bedrooms. They have no fucking yard because that's how subdivisions are these yeah. days. They have the big cookie cutter bullshit house that is the same as all the but rest in the neighborhood. But it's new, dude. <laughs> and it's big and it's new. And there's something to be said for that because if you buy like a 1908 house, then it's going to just be a complete nightmare and everything's <laughs> going to break immediately and cost you $100,000. Yeah. But but yeah, you're spending five hundred grand to buy like a cookie cutter bullshit house with no yard in Beaverton. Yay, good for you. Now you live <laughs> next to a Chipotle. Fucking asshole. And uh <laughs> But it's, it's so a, convenient. They deliver. Oh my god, I can get my keto <laughs> balls. They had that keto ball. I had just they have that my keto ball, dude. Just beans and I, I just find it meat. I just find it interesting because like I was consciously or subconsciously like i thought i wanted that and then like we had it and i didn't really like it yeah i i definitely and that was a very transformative those, the experience whole, like, for me. suburb i'm i, I don't want to live in a suburb i feel like i would i'd rather live in a small town yeah either in a small town or in the city those are where i want to live because if i'm in an urban area, I want to be in the city because that's the whole fucking point of living around these. If I got to deal with traffic, I want to. I want to make it worth it. Yeah. You know, if I'm gonna live where I have to drive to everything, then I'm gonna live in Dillon, Montana. <laughs> yeah. Where I get to drive five minutes out to a field and shoot off guns, dude. I it's actually because this is fucking America. I actually prefer driving in Montana. I re- well, like the last few Montana times I've been shit. back. I'm like. I actually enjoy yeah. driving when I'm there. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, a little time. nerve wracking when you're going like 80 on a, a two lane highway and there's cars going the same speed the other way. That is a little just crazy. Don't drive into each other. Yeah. It, it and is, then you're good. It is. But it's just like, I've oh, had 100% so success so far in my Me life. Me too. I mean, I've hit a few deer, but that's about it. I haven't hit a deer. I hit a, I hit a raccoon once. <laughs> but uh, I do miss, I actually enjoyed driving when I was there mm-hmm. and I hate it. I, I don't mind driving here. It's not too bad. Um, but like in Vegas and honestly in Minneapolis, it was just like the traffic was, Minneapolis the traffic is really bad. Yeah. In, in, um, 
and in uh, in Vegas, the traffic is just bananas. It's just scary. I like, don't. I think. I think part people of just why drive you don't. Crazy. I don't think you drive the high traffic route here too much. Well, like I, I think when you drive up to Vancouver, sometimes like that the 205 there gets a little trafficy sometimes well no I you don't drive on purpose. you don't drive at rush hour no i i purposely on, don't do that. on i-405 through downtown portland every day i don't to have i've to designed work. my life so i don't need to do yeah that. i haven't designed my life that way yet i still need a job to live indoors and so i have to drive <laughs> on i-405 at rush hour twice a day but even Unless when was, we're in a pandemic. But dude, now in a pandemic, I, I've loved working at home because I don't have to spend an hour of my life going three miles. I did experience traffic when I was working at that dog place by you yeah. because I do not live that close to you. And yeah, so you, I you got to stuck go over in a fuckload a bridge of traffic. Occasionally. Like the way the shifts were, the, mm -hmm. I couldn't avoid it. I didn't get it both times a day. I didn't get fucked by traffic twice a day. It was just a once a day occurrence. I guess for me, it's it's... Because the mornings are almost never either bad. my shift was but from my was afternoon noon to something or yeah. it was like noon to uh to like close no, coming like home for seven. me is when it's bad so i would get the i would get the afternoon traffic yeah but not the but if i worked the morning shift and then went mm -hmm. home i would be done at two so it was like yeah so then you're missing it one but yeah two, i seven. usually get off work like 4 30 to 5 o'clock and i yeah. have to drive home and that's when it gets me because it's it's only like three miles but what I'm saying it's is like I a actually 10 to like 15 minute drive in the morning. Driving. I love, but then it's like a 40 minute at night. I love a windy ass road. Yeah. Like like with some curves and <laughs> not like not just like freeway. I don't really like freeway driving. I love a cool road. And like when mm -hmm. so like whenever I go back to Montana, I always take highways. It pisses off Jody, but I think you take the fun. secondary highways because there's fewer people and they're curvy and fun to drive on. Yeah, dude, Absolutely. I totally get that. I do that Absolutely. same thing. Absolutely. I mean, there are a couple. There's they are shorter routes mm -hmm. on a couple of them. There's a, a to my to my mom's. Yeah, house Northwest trip, Montana but... has a lot of those too. A lot of like highways and Northwest Montana, they're all going through the forest. Mm -hmm. It's like a road in a forest, and I I always get I always get disoriented up there. Cause I'm used to Southwest Montana where I can see everything. Yeah. Maybe not as much anymore since I live here, but that was an adjustment for me, like living in Minnesota where I, I, I kind of felt uncomfortable because in Montana when, where I lived, there's like always mountains to kind of give you like orientation. Yeah. Well, that's where how you I were. feel when I go up to Northwest Montana. Weird. Yeah. Like I had a buddy from Libby still, yeah. we're still buddies. He just doesn't live there anymore. His family does, but he doesn't. Anyway, yeah. I went up to visit him. One summer, we were going to fish fish the Kootenai. Great river, by the way. No one ever fishes it. Fantastic. Yeah. No fish there. Um, but yeah, driving up through the woods to get to Libby, it was like 100 miles of secondary highway through a forest that it was just trees. I was like, well, I'm still on this road. Don't know where. Can't see anything. Just I guess trees. I just, a lot just of trees, trees, roads, trees, 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 I... trees. And then all of a sudden, I was in a town and it was Libby. Yeah, I guess I just like drove a lot of those roads so much growing up. Yeah, you were used to it. It's I kind of like knew that it looked familiar to me. I'm yeah. Like, oh, I know this river that we're next to or whatever. Yeah. Thing For me, like, Southwest Montana, those wide open, like there's not that many yeah, trees except up in the mountains. mountains and and it's impractical to have a highway up there. So it's like you can see like 50 miles in every direction at all times. Yeah. And then you can see mountains. Like there's a mountain, a mountain range of some sort in every direction all the time. And you can just say, okay, that's there, that's there, that's there, that's there. I know all the directions. I know. Yeah, where. it is like orienting. Yeah. And then like, I mean, that's one of the things I like about here. There's like Mount Hood, at least. Yeah, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens. It's and been like, awesome And like sometimes there's too, a river. Like the, the air is really clean because yeah. nobody's driving anywhere. And it's been sunny and clear. So when you go up on a hike, you can see everything. It's really that's, beautiful. Yeah. I don't like seeing it because I want to go skiing. <laughs> like I want to go skiing so bad right now. Yeah. That's the one. It's like, I wish I went more times. <laughs> but whatever. At least I went. I, yeah, at, least at least I went, went period. <laughs> like yeah. I went a few times. So, uh, all, right. all right. So these shoes, these shoes, uh, would you buy them again? hundred percent. Yeah. 
I feel they're fantastic. Like, yeah, maybe I like probably pair at some point they're going to be worn out, and I'll probably just get another pair of Ultra Boost. Yeah, maybe a different colorway just, just to switch it up. But like, yes, I really like them. No, I wear them. I wear them all the time. They're comfy. They look nice. They're not too flashy. They're not. I, I like them too. too. Lame. Yeah, they're cool. I think. I think. I. I don't know if I. I get a pair. Right now, you should definitely get a pair of Ultra Boost at some point. Whether it's that colorway, obviously there's a million different colorways. So just get whatever. Just get one of them. Yeah, whatever you like. There's a All right. million of them, you know. Yeah, we we learned a lot yeah. today. We Good learned a lot today. off on the Ultra Boost. Yeah. Great shoe. Good shoe. Uh, I probably get them from the Nike or the. the I'm gonna yeah, the wait Nike till store. you get a yeah, get the store the employee, the employee store. They like, always have a good selection down there. I mean, I've got a few friends that live. Yeah, you they got a live in. They live there, dude. <laughs> no, they work there. And mm-hmm. I, when things, when stores open up, I think I might be able to get, get in there. Yeah. All right, man. Cool. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for size ten. Uh, you can follow me on my website, BjornRG dot com that's it uh and all of my social and all my things you can see all my tour dates and stuff on there right now it's pretty 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 basic but you know a little things are going to pick up again and i'm just at nick scalzone comedy on instagram so follow me there awesome all right thank you thanks everybody